Hi everybody, I am really excited about this video and I'm gonna have a really hard time not looking in the viewfinder for it because of what is on my face. I got new glasses and I'm really, really excited about them. I absolutely love them. I love shopping for glasses. I'm like one of the weird people that like thinks shopping for glasses is the best accessory that you could ever shop for. They're just so fun and they live on your face all the time and so they should be one of the best things that you own in my opinion. I've loved using glasses as a fashion accessory over the years. I got my first pair of glasses in sixth grade and it's really interesting to me how my style has evolved from sixth grade to now and we're gonna go down that little trip of memory lane because I have all of my old glasses frames and I thought it would be really fun to show them all to you and show you how my style has changed and kind of what I used to want from my frames and what I want from them now and first of all don't be like me donate your glasses <laughs> or recycle them when you're done with them uh, this is also a little motivational video for me to do some fall clean out in my life uh, but before I get rid of all of them I just wanted to have this little video diary of all my different glasses frames um, so yeah let's just jump right into it these are the first glasses I ever owned you can barely even see them on the screen because they are rimless it, it was the year that rimless glasses were a big thing and so my parents had them so when I was looking for glasses I was like that's what I want too and also because it was my first pair of glasses I was a little uncomfortable with wearing glasses then and so I didn't want it to be like oh my gosh you have glasses on your face so I wanted them to be kind of like is she wearing glasses is she not wearing glasses I don't know uh, I wouldn't choose these today because of the little feet I've discovered after having my first pair of plastic glasses that I like that a lot better the little like rubber feet that go on the bridge of your nose are really uncomfortable to me now. I can't stand them. Um, and they leave marks on your nose. They're just not ideal. But um, these are Jill Stewart eyewear, by the way, um, in case you were wondering, in case you like them. But you know, they serve me really well. They look, they look pretty classy, honestly. This is like, if I was a librarian, these are the glasses I would go for. This is my second pair of glasses, which I got in eighth grade. Um, and maybe it was because, you know, they were in such contrast from the rimless glasses, but these glasses like blew people's minds when I was in eighth grade. I became the girl with the cool glasses with these glasses, which in the viewfinder they look like nothing, but they are red with like a little zigzaggy pattern. It's just very subtle in comparison to what I have now. But this was like my first foray into like using glasses as a fashion accessory. I never, you know, would have done that with the rimless glasses. That was not really my goal was to use my glasses as a fashion accessory, but these it was like, you know, I'm experimenting with plastic frames, I'm experimenting with, you know, a different shape, which again, these these feel so small and like so nothing now, <laughs> but, but I kind of embrace that aspect of wearing glasses with these glasses, which, you know, it is a little bit of a milestone, but yeah, like I said, it looks like these are totally just nothing <laughs> in comparison to now. But you know, in eighth grade, you're still kind of figuring out who you are as a person and what you want your vibe to be. And so this was a good stepping stone. So my third pair of glasses is gonna look a little different because when I got my fourth pair of glasses I made these into prescription sunglasses but this was like definitely the leap of faith into cool glasses for me these are by Ron at first who still makes really incredible frames and I love browsing her website and seeing what she does she does hand-painted frames so the front and the sides are all different like patterns and she's got like little dots and little stripes and when I first got these this was truly it was like I've got their pink and green, they're wild. And again, you know, now they're very small to me and so I would never like wear glasses this tiny, but I really, this was, you know, high school when I was really getting into my artsy vibe and these were the thing at the time. And yeah, truly loved these. I'll throw up some pictures too of me wearing them when they weren't prescription sunglasses. Um, but yeah, when they were clear glasses, it, like this was truly like Jordan has it going on. My fourth pair of glasses are also Ron at first. And I, again, I love these. They were a much brighter blue when I first got them, which is interesting to me that they faded so much. These are also the glasses that I had when I first started making YouTube videos. So that's kind of cool to look back on my old videos and these glasses make an appearance. But yeah, they've, they've got like the orange on this side and the pink stripe on this side and like painting all down the sides. They're really cool, really cool. If you're looking for artsy frames, like these are just such a no-brainer um but yeah these I just wanted to continue the same vibe I had going I I do regret making that other pink pair into prescription sunglasses just because the frame were so small and with sunglasses you really need like a larger frame to actually protect your eyes from the sun I got them made into those sunglasses and I didn't really end up wearing them a ton um 
because yeah, they just didn't really do much. But you know, anyway, that's kind of a side note for another day. <laughs> This pair you should recognize if you've been watching my videos for a while, and also these are the classes that are in my profile picture on almost everything online. These are by Zen Barcelona, and I really like these classes a lot. This was kind of my stepping stone out of like the pink, green, orange, blue glasses and into like still artsy, definitely, but also just a little sleeker and a little cooler. These were my first glasses once I hit college. So I kind of wanted a little bit more of an adult vibe to my glasses, but still wanted to like stand out with them. And I think these definitely achieved that. Unfortunately, as time went on, they just got a little uncomfortable. They slide up and down my nose a little bit and the back pinches a little bit. So I don't really know, you know, they didn't bother me at all for like the first year that I wore them. But then as we got kind of into the second year, like I was a little tired of wearing them and I started wearing these glasses while I was at home because these were definitely more comfortable than these were. Um, so yeah, unfortunately these weren't glasses that I was able to carry over much after, you know, that kind of two year mark. But regardless, they served me well at the time and I still can, they have a special place in my heart. They're just really, really fun. This is my last pair of glasses, which you all should know and love. They are by Aiden Thomas. And I'm really, really glad that my prescription hasn't dramatically changed so I can still get away with wearing these because this is probably my favorite pair that I've ever owned. I really, really love these. I like that they are the total classic tortoiseshell, really cl classic shape, but they've got the touch of blue, which since I have blue eyes, just makes everything pop. And they frame my face really nicely. And yeah, this was another kind of stepping stone into like, I want adult glasses that make me look like an authoritative figure, maybe, I guess, but also have a little bit of fun. And I've gotten so many compliments on these glasses over the years. I, I again, I think it's probably, probably my best work. <laughs> and this is the new pair, which I'm also really excited about. They're definitely a thinner frame and a more rounded frame than I've ever gone with, which when I first tried them on, I was like, can I do that? Like, is that a thing? Like I've had, you know, chunky square glasses for a while now. So I wasn't sure if like this sort of more like streamlined rounded shape was something I could pull off, but I really, really like them. I like that they're the teal tortoiseshell, so kind of the same vibe as that blue tortoiseshell that I had last time, but they've got a touch of pink at the top, which I just think is really cool. And they also have the pink at the very back as well. Um, these are by Etnia Barcelona, by the way. Um, and all Etnia glasses have like that stripe along the top, which carries over into my new prescription sunglasses, which my optometrist was horrified that I've not been driving with prescription sunglasses. <laughs> he was just like, what do you mean? You need prescription sunglasses immediately. So we got these at the same time. These are also Etnia Barcelona, so you can get these as regular glasses, but they also have, um, they're that teal tortoise shell vibe as well. They've got the solid teal at the top and then a little bit of texture on the side, which I really like. I like that they're subtle cat eye, but not like really overtly cat eye because I don't think I can pull off overtly cat eye. It just is a bridge too far to me. But I didn't think that I could pull off the round vibes of my regular glasses either, but I, I certainly think I can. So, you know, who knows what my next pair will be, but overall, I'm really, really pleased with these. So thank you for going on that journey through all of my frames with me. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions over the years about wearing contacts and whether I ever would, ever have, ever should, ever could. Um, the answer is no to all of those questions. I've never wanted to wear contacts. When I first got glasses, it was just a thing of like, I need to get used to wearing glasses so I don't wanna be going on this journey of you know wearing contacts and glasses at the same time. It, I was in sixth grade already dealing with a lot in sixth grade. You don't need to add more steps to your life at that point in time. Um, but as time went on, I just didn't really want the hassle of contacts. Everybody I knew who had contacts was just like, you know, it takes forever to put them in and you got to deal with, you know, contact solution and putting them in the right thing. And, um, and I just like the two seconds of putting them on my face and calling it a day. Um, I'm very low maintenance in that way. Um, but there's also the fact that my prescription is dramatically different in both eyes, um, which I actually learned this year from my optometrist is bad enough of a difference that it is an official condition that I have um, that, you know, it doesn't really mean anything. It just means that one eye is totally worse than the other. Um, so then if I got contacts, it would have to be a thing where I would have to guarantee that the left and the right eye were different. And that just seemed a little odd to me. And I also just like 
wearing glasses as a fashion statement. It's always been a thing as I've kind of gone through throughout this video. The other question I've gotten is about my makeup routine with glasses and that was really interesting to me when I, a couple people first started asking me and I didn't realize that that was even a thing until I started watching YouTube videos about like my makeup routine with glasses and I was like oh that's something that people actually think about and I never thought about it partially because when I first started wearing glasses was also kind of when I first started dabbling with makeup in, you know, sixth, seventh grade. And so I've always, you know, done my makeup and worn glasses. I've never like had a time when I was doing my makeup and not wearing glasses. So I've literally like had never thought twice about the way I do my makeup versus how I would do it differently if I wasn't wearing glasses. I just, it's not even a thing to me. Um, I guess if you are putting much thought into that, um, a lot of times your glasses, um, the top of them will hit, or at least they do with me, um, where the crease of my eye is. So if you're gonna do like a full like crease look with your eye makeup, might not show up if you have your glasses in front of it. Um, the other thing is I guess being conscious of where the bottom of your glasses hit in comparison to dark circles. Um, but truly beyond that, never, never thought twice. Something I have thought about is how my hair should be with glasses because I had straight cross bangs for a really long time and when your bangs get long enough they get in the way of your glasses and then I would have to like swoop my bangs to the side and then get the little like bend around my glasses. So I've thought about hair a little bit more than makeup but again it's it's not really that complicated to figure out and definitely not something I would dedicate a full video to. But in any case, those are my two cents on that. <laughs> Thanks again for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it and trying all my old frames on. So yeah, hope you liked it and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Seasons know so well That we're holding on to past and present Remembering our youth All the things we swore and said we'd never do